Oh my God. What the? What the hell is that? What, what is that? What is that? I just saw something right there move, guys. Wait a second. I gotta step back. I gotta step back. I think it's Fred. Oh my goodness. Hold on, guys. I just saw something right there move. I just, guys, trust me, it's, this is the, the scary thing about being in the, the dark water. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's the manatee. Woof. Woof. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, come, come. You're more than welcome to come down. Just be careful. There's crocodiles. There's snakes. There's manatees. A uh, snake? Nothing? A snake, a snake. Python? That's what they say. Where? I can't tell you. Come here, bro. Come on. Oh boy. This is gonna get this is gonna get weird fast. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. You can't tell me you saw a python and not tell me where. Bro, I'm gonna have to pull down my pants right now? <laughs> Dude, that's a mealworm! That's a mealworm! <laughs> Get out of here, bro! You're, you're killing my shot! <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome to Black Point. Look at Chicho Live, guys! I told you it was gonna get weird real quick. <laughs> Uh, hey, he asked for it, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I. No Python in Garden State. <laughs> hey, I got some people visiting back here, and I told them you're more than welcome to come down. But there's snakes and stuff back here. Hey, listen. I'll tell you right now. Whoever does not have a chicho hat, bro, le estoy tirando duro, durísimo. Oh, bro, bad. Let me tell you, the juju is bad. <laughs> <laughs> LuxuryRibTenders.com, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, if, if I see your name prior to me editing, I might give you a pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, guys. Oh, my goodness. This boat ramp is on fire, guys. It's late in the day. Late in the day. Some of you guys have been asking. Dimero. <laughs> Some of you guys have been asking, when are you filming? Guys, I don't really tell you guys the time or dates and stuff like that because my my videos are evergreen, right? They're, they can be whenever. I mean, when I want to put a timestamp on, on a date or a video, I can go to the gas and I can you can see the gas prices. Or, you know, what else can I do? You can see the gas prices and then I'll just say, hey, you know, a current event, right? But I purposely don't say current events because I don't want you guys to know when this was filmed. Point blank period. Because it gives me the flexibility to edit later, right? If I have other footage, it might make sense with this footage and that footage and all that good stuff. So now you know the inside tricks of Alfred Montaner. I shouldn't have told you that. Oh man, I heard something here weird. Yes, yeah, so this family just came back here to, to take a look at the, at the boat ramp. Um, Alfred Montaner view, Chicho view. If you go to Google Maps and type in Chicho, it shows you my exact location. And then that green area back there, it says Chicho Live. That is basically where people go and sit down, get their lawn chairs and hang out and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see what this guy does in the sea boss. And uh, this, is, this is what this boat ramp's about, guys. It's about a good time. And Miami as a whole is a good time. You, you know, you, you're gonna come down here if you come visit. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna enjoy yourself if you come down. This guy was asking him for a for a solid. Oh boy, get off my lawn. Yeah, he wanted him to go through there first or something. It's pretty cool of him. What the hell was that? 
What the hell is that? Bro, are you guys hearing that? Hold on a second, bro. What the hell is that? Some... What the hell was that? So I think somebody is burning wheels in the back area. Um, or doing donuts back there. That's why, I, that's why I tell you not to park back there, guys. It could get kind of sketchy. Sorry about that. I didn't want to leave the camera, but that was, that was very interesting to say the least. Hey, bro, when do you, when do you work? When, when do you, when do you work? When do you work? You're fishing every day of the week. Bro, I don't, I, 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 I don't believe this. Look, look, look at this whiskey throttle on your shot killing. So, so did you go fishing? We did, I was trying out some new tactics and it didn't really work out for me. What were you, what were you targeting? Tile fish? Wow, it got rough on the way back, huh? Compared to the morning. I, I got a couple numbers, but it just didn't work out. I know where there's tile fish. You, you figure out how to present it better, I think. It's all about presentation. We'll get better at it. YouTube, bro, YouTube. Nick Stanzik. What? Wow. Check out the pescatarian. They do a lot of deep dropping, too. Have you seen the pescatarian showing people how to do a uh, swordfish? No. He's giving it all away. A lot of people are mad at him. Yeah, guys. Some people are upset. Think about it because he's showing you guys how to catch swordfish. And Pedro's like, hey, listen, what's wrong? Somebody taught me. And what's wrong with me teaching somebody else, you know? And it's not like everybody's going to go out to 2,000 feet of water to go ahead and try to catch a fish, you know? Um, my focus has been a little off on this camera today, man. I apologize about that. I got to see what's happening over here. Well, this has been a long clip. It all started with a snake. That same guy that just went in right now, I asked him one day, so where are the fish? He goes, in the water. I go, how far? How deep? Pretty far? I was like, you're dead to me. I was gonna try to play one of those numbers on him now, but he, he didn't fall into the trap. Two stroke Mercury's. Starting to smell that over here now, that two stroke, and it's starting to hit me now. Catching any idiots today? I'm not catching idiots, but I'm, I've caught some people crashing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't come out here, guys. I, I never want to disrespect somebody, right? You know, I don't want to call somebody in. You know, say nothing and call them in a disrespect. I'm making fun of the moment more than the person. So just know that, right? And the moment can happen to anybody. I guess I got, I got the best of the best on the chit show. You know, I got the best of the best. I know. 
Oh boy, my tripod just gave up a leg. Tranquilo, I just, th now this is the part that you'll see on the video. You won't see the other part, you'll see this part. <laughs> or a tratazo you guys do now. Hey, there's a lot of current. Uh, there's a lot of current, bro. Bueno. They just came in with a bunch of music, guys. And, and I, obviously, I don't put the, the music part. No, 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 no. Tranquilo, dude, go in safe. All right, let's see, let's see, guys. We got a, a fountain coming in. Everybody's ready, though. Everybody's ready. Look, look, you have the, you have the hole. There's like, like five people on one side ready to bring him in. He's got this. He, uh oh, we got, are we? My theory is always when you're, there's music at the boat ramp, guys, I don't care how good of a captain you are, you. It's his MUI. It's an MUI. I'm telling you. I just told them there's, there's a lot of current. I just told them there was a lot of current, dude. Just told them. But it's the MUI, guys. MUI. Music under the influence. Once you have that much music in your head, it's hard to get rid of it. And let's see, let's see what happens now. Let's see. He's got it. He's got it this time. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Wait for it. Uh-oh. He's coming in. Is the current going to get him again? MUI part two. He's got it. He put it in reverse a little too soon. He put it in reverse a little too soon. And again oh he's going against the current oh my goodness what is this what is this what is this and he said i'm going to the opposite side because this one doesn't work ramp nine doesn't work why bro it's music i'm telling you it's music at the boat ramp bro i heard you all the way since the very back where it said resume normal operation i heard your boat since then there there it is it's social as you were saying you see i told you Oh my, oh my goodness, wait, what happened? You're not gonna get it now here either? Oh my goodness, what is going on here, dude? I am, I am, are we gonna have to start bringing out the Tremenda Nota hats? Guys, this whole boat needs Tremenda Nota hats. Minus the kids. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, so we have a competing Barcero over here that wants to go ahead and give him some with the music. Now he's giving him a taste of his own medicine. Now he can't even think, he can't hear himself think. Oh man, hey, that's a very nice boat, let me tell you. Very nice boat. All right, good job, Captain, you made it back. Everybody is safe. You had a little tremenda nota here, but you know, whatever. It is what it is, bro. Welcome back to the boat ramp. And we got somebody that just came over here to put on the music over here. Que es esto, caballero? Que es esto? Esto es una mierda. Oh my God. The people on the boat behind him. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh no! Well, they got it out fine. That's what happens sometimes at Black Point Marina, guys. They got to get the boat out. So they're using the motors to uh, to pull the, motor, to the boat up, right? Oh boy. This marina is insane, my friends. Think about that. You're having your little cigarette. Those of you that smoke and you get splashed. Like that, and takes off your cigarette, turns it off. What would you do? What would you do? Oh, a pontoon boat. Wait, this is not a pontoon. It's not on tunes. Is this a pontoon? What would this be considered? Those are not pontoons, guys.
We got shot killed. Wait for it. Look at this guy. This guy has a second chance to be on. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh boy. He just lost the boat, guys. What a chit show. All right, back to regularly scheduled programming. It was a diversion, my friends. Somebody screamed, help, help. And then while you're like, what happened? Somebody's in your bag right there, just taking all your money. Bam. Help, please. There was somebody over there in the corner pointing one way. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's horrible. And there's three people in your bag. They tried to do that to me in San Francisco one time. It was interesting. Very interesting. Me and my wife were at the San Francisco Bridge. Um, at the Golden Gate Bridge. My wife always wanted to see it. And uh, we went to, oh, we went over there. And so... How did we go? We went to one side, we were, uh, the further side, I guess uh, Sao Solito or something like that. Comment below, you guys are from that area. Some lady comes up to us and I had my backpack, you know, some cash on the backpack and, and then we were gonna take a picture and then some lady tried to, you know, be a little too nice, you know? And she was a very attractive lady and she, you know, she sees, a couple, young couple, me and my wife were younger. I was kind of hotter. I was hotter than I am now, 6'5", 225 and ripped. But I was hotter, right? So then she came and kind of came with one of these like weird looks. You know, you could pick up on vibes, right? And I smelled, I smelled a rat from, from a mile away. And I was taking pictures of my wife with the Golden Gate gate behind her. She hadn't picked up on it yet because she was facing me and I was seeing the other side of it, right? So what this lady was trying to do, you know, she was trying to distract. So some other dude that was in the area and I picked up on it and he saw that I picked up on it too. And what he, uh, he tried to do is while we were put our bag down to take the picture, she was going to be the, the, the decoy, the distractor, and then uh, take my bag with my camera, my other camera, because I had another camera in there, but I was thinking, right now, <laughs> wait for it. Welcome back. Up, bro, up. bro, don't mess up. You messed up because you're wearing a PFG hat, bro, and not a Chicho hat. No, we need it, bro. We need it. So, long story short, she was the decoy, trying to act all like you know. You guys want to hang out? You know, one of those moves, right? A lot of people fall for that stuff. They do that stuff out here in Miami, guys. And that's one thing I will tell you. You go to a nightclub, you're wearing a, f a really expensive watch, or you start, you know, flaunting your wealth, or say you have this in your room or that in your room, they're gonna go back to your room and you're gonna wake up without kidneys and in a bathtub and without your Rolex. So just, you know, actually I would go as, and, and not that, it's not like, like violent crime. It's, it's, it's crime that criminals, like, like trained crooks, right? Hey. This guy looks lonely. I sit on the bar for a couple hours. You know, let me see what I can find out. Is it worth to make a move on this guy or girl or whoever it is? It's mostly done on men, so. And most of the times they never say nothing because, you know, most of the time they shouldn't be doing that anyways. And since they're doing it, oh boy, what happened here? 
boy oh boy oh no oh no so so then they don't say nothing you know oh boy because they're not supposed to know that that happened right you know it's like honey um i brought three hookers to the hotel and um they they robbed me that's that's so wrong what do you mean three hookers honey you, you didn't tell me you were going to miami for three hookers you said you were going to a convention center so yes um and that'll happen in any any major city in the world guys so i just i don't know how that sparked i don't know how, where that sparked oh yeah i guess my story in san francisco but uh yeah it was wild you know wild so so i definitely learned from uh just always got to be vigilant you know what i'm saying you always got to be vigilant and now doing what i do now i'm now I got eyes in behind my head. Like, I know when everybody's around me, you know? And I can tell when you recognize me immediately. So I can, I can pick up on that. And I'm like, okay. You know, it's this guy looking to say, You filmed me in 1982. This is your last breath, buddy. I've been waiting for this all day. Or is it like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I love your channel. I, 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 mind if I take a picture? Yeah, bro, come. <laughs> Yeah, it does get weird though sometimes. Sometimes it does get weird. Well guys, I want to thank you guys for watching The Chit Show over here at Blackburn Marina. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out Luxury Rib Tenders. Dog, uh, uh, I was going to say dog com. No, it's LuxuryRibTenders.com or AlfredMontaner.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Boom!